Nurses at Straub Hospital plan to pick it on Tuesday. This comes after the health care employees have been working without a contract for weeks. KITV 4's Jefferson Tyler takes the pulse of the nurses' negotiations. As nurses continue to head to work at Straub Medical Center, they head into what some may call is a not so ideal scenario. One of the main problems is that we've been chronically understaffed for many years. And so the, what that means is that you might have the best nurses in the world, but we're not able to offer the care that we know that we can deliver because there's simply not enough of us on any given day. They've been working without a contract since November 1st. Negotiations continue, but the Hawaii Nurses Association says the latest proposal was rejected by more than 90% of its membership last week. Salary seems to be the main issue. One of the things that we're focused on is um, retaining that, that talent, uh, retaining our experienced nurses, um, and also making it attractive for uh, those who are considering to uh, um, come and work with our team at Straub um, to do so. And so that is part of our offer in terms of making this um, basically the highest uh, paid uh, job for a nurse at a hospital uh, with that kind of experience in the state. We want a contract that improves the working conditions and the compensation to the point where it's attractive enough that you can retain the experienced nurses that offer the most value to the community and to the company. That you can recruit nurses from other, other places in the country and from around the state. While Hawaii is second in nurses' wages nationally, it competes against wages in first-ranked California, number three, Oregon, and number 10, Nevada. The union put out a statement saying that the ability to get meal breaks along with having sufficient staffing is fundamental. Some Straub nurses have expressed concern to KITV4 about traveling nurses filling in. They have experience doing these sorts of things and then our process is that we onboard them to the facility. So we're not teaching them how to be nurses. These are folks who have gotten their license for the state of Hawaii and are going through our orientation to support our teams. The number one safety intervention you can do is have an appropriate number of experienced nurses on staff. Uh, we catch situations developing early that could harm patients. Straub also works with several colleges in the area training nursing students. Jefferson Tyler, KITV4 Island News.